Howdy folks and welcome to episode 6 of the Tour de Splash. Now, I know you've had to wait for a long, long time for this and there is a reason for it. I actually lost this episode when I did my upgrades on my system. So that is why it's been in limbo for such a long time. But here it is and let's get back into this universe. So looking at the leaderboard, Wet Farts has a 12.40 second lead over BJ Swallows in second, and then Jackanoff is on the podium, but 53 seconds behind. The rest of them though, if you have a look from 4 to 10, you are basically 22 seconds between the next 7 marbles. In the points race, the top 2 riders are just swapping places, BJ Swallows on top there with 228 points, Wet Farts with 205. Then we have quite a bit of a drop away to Milo Drinker and Fritz Runter. In the team standings, it's Hooker Cockrum leading the way with a 2 minute and 4 second gap over Sherlock Holmes there. A further 22 second back are Lemon Auto Hire. As we wait on the start finish line for this race to start, there's Wet Farts in yellow. And off they go once more there, Wet Farts there, shining brightly there. We just saw uh, BJ Swallows go through there. But up the front, it looks like Tokyo Sexwell is going to lead us out. He's gone around the loop-de-loop -loop now and he's heading up towards the first ladder. Gets a bit rear-ended by his teammate there, Slatan Bagadix. It looks like Sad Man has also has struggled to get to the ladder there. And Stevie Schartz is struggling as well, although it looks like he might get going. Yeah, there he goes. So you've got the two Cumden boys on the top rung there, as well as Slobtastic, and they go over into the red section now. The Cumden boys go to the right, Slobtastic to the left. And Sexwell, the first one into the bowl there, and he's down as well. A few others have dropped down with him there, but Sexwell definitely leading us out into the red section there. The Golden Greek George Fakakakis is in second, although Slutdun Bagger Dix has actually overtaken him again. So the top three from before, Sexwell, Bagger Dix and Slobtastic lead us into the spinners. A pretty volatile part of the course, Slobtastic's got the best run through the first spinner. He's been held up there and it looks like Bagger Dix will actually go through first. It's good to also see BJ Swallows go through. He might in fact hit the ladder first. Just looking at this mass of uh, marbles coming down the track there. Stevie Schartz. There's BJ Swallows going into the green. First racer to do that today. But Bagadix behind him as well. An angry dung. It looks like he's moved up into third spot there. So it's Swallows and Bagadix going down. Oh, Slobtastic's back in third there. My apologies for that. And looking at the leaderboard. So Slobtastic in third. Wayne King fourth. Angry Nugget fifth. And we're just looking at Wet Farts at the moment. He is travelling quite well as well. But it's BJ Swallows leading us up. He's just about to go through. But he's been held up there. And there was a glitch of the video there, which is why you didn't actually see that. But uh, Slobtastic and Angry Nugget have taken the lead. Richard Stiff has also gone into third now as we're at the ladder there. So Angry Nugget and Slobtastic share the top rung there. And then we have a mass of marbles all in the one rung there. So it's going to be interesting to see how we go into the blue section. Remembering the blue section is another place where we shake things up because people have to drop down, otherwise they go the long way round. So that can actually really spell trouble for the marbles. So it'll be interesting to see what happens there. As Slobtastic goes into the lead from Angry Nugget, just preparing to go the speed boost up through the drop zone so we'll see what happens there Slobtastic has a lot of momentum there looks like he's going to be taking the long way round yes he is so he's uh, but Angry Nuggets actually dropped down so he's done well there and there's Slutdown Bagger Dix as well and there's BJ Swallows in the bowl as well he's looking to drop down as soon as possible to try and get into the lead of the race which he seems to have done successfully. So yes, although he's been held up there by the nails, but uh, it is Swallows, Angry Nugget, and then Helmet Bite has come up into third, so obviously he had a good run through that blue section and dropping down. Swallow's just been held up there, and it's actually worked in Helmet Bite's favour there. So he's got into first place. Nugget to second, and Slutdown Bagger Dix is third. Bite lead leading us through the orange section there. There's Wet Farts making a good run for it as well. But it's Bider, Slut Dunn, Bag of Dicks, and Angry Nugget in third there. Eva Stinks has moved up to fourth as well. BJ Swallows in fifth and Wet Farts in sixth. So those two going one and two in the competition at the moment, going head to head as well. Just following Angry Nugget as well. There's BJ Swallows 
in fourth spot now, and it's Bider. First one into the ladder. Bagger Dick second. Just waiting on Angry Nugget. Oh no, it's Eva Stinks has actually moved up into third there. There's Angry Nugget. They're all in the same rung, however. BJ Swallow's in fifth. And looks like Lobster Joe's in sixth. So Wet Farts has actually dropped down a little bit. He's in 11th at the moment. Just watching some of these other competitors come in now. Slob Tassie's dropped right down there now. He's not even in the top 20, I don't think. He'll be disappointed with that. He was right up there. Was in the lead very, very uh, briefly. Just watching some of these competitors as they come in. There's Fritz Grunter who's just arrived there. And there's the man himself, Dick Splash. Actually had quite a good appearance at the ladder there. Just jumped a couple of spots there. And we're looking at the more of the back end of the field there. There's a Kiwi sensation there, Scott Krabs. And there's Ken Oath. Unfortunately, his race is over. Got nailed in the blue section. And sad man we called out before. Didn't really get on that first ladder. And there's Wayne Kerr. So he got into the red section, but missed, took that turn and ended up uh, riding himself off there. And the aerial shot there. So the only marble moving really at the moment is Tossa Kokov because he was held back. So he's, he's officially last on the course of the competitors that are still competing. And we're just going to scroll down there. There's Bider in the lead there. You've got Bagger Dicks, Nugget and Eva Stinks all on the rung together there. And there's BJ Swallows there. Regis Queefer there from the come down. He, he actually started all right. And there's Wet Farts on two rungs below BJ Swallow. So he'll want to remedy that because uh, I think he's only 12 seconds in front of BJ Swallows at the moment. As Bider goes up the gravity well into the purple section. Moving very well there. Don't be deceived by Ken Oath. He's not going anywhere. And Bagger Dix is in second. Eva stinks third. And Nugget is in fourth. Let's see how this little split shakes the field up there. There's Bider. Looking to drop down. He might have to go the long way. They always... Oh, that's, that could be very costly. So he's going the long way down. And Bagger Dix has dropped straight down. But I think, yeah, it's Bagger Dix at the moment there. But he's hit the wall bad. And Eva Stinks has actually gone through. So Eva Stinks into the lead now. And Bagger Dix is in second spot. Up they both go. Eva stinks into the yellow and moving very well. Looks like Wet Farts has moved up to third as well, so he'd be very happy with that move. It, but it's Eva stinks through the yellow at the moment. Bagger Dix second, Wet Farts third, Angry Nugget is in fourth, and Lord Harry Dixon Balls is in fifth spot. And there's Bagger Dix, but you can see what sort of a lead Eva stinks already has. There's Wet Farts going down the left hand side there. And Angry Nugget and Slob Tastic, who's actually made a good recovery there. He looks like he's in fifth place on track although it will be quite close with him and Lord Harry Dixon balls and wet farts has been stalled there so Bagger Dix has taken back the second spot but Slobtastic gives his mate wet farts a bit of a nudge there and Angry Nugget just takes over there but Bagger Dix is going through Eva Stinks already into the black section and Eva Stinks just about to go through the portal into the next part of the yellow section He's done that without any problems whatsoever. Moving very well indeed. Has a very good lead there. In fact, now it looks like Bide has actually made himself back into second spot. So he's obviously had a really good black section. I don't often show the black section because it's very volatile and the spinners are huge in there. So often you just see marbles getting tossed from side to side without any real context. So there's Bagger Dix in third spot there coming up to a spinner. Lord Harry Dixon Ball in fourth there, Angry Nugget in fifth, Wet Farts has dropped down to seventh by the looks of that, and Eva Stinks is on the last ladder of the course. Bider coming into that ladder now, and just looking at some of the other competitors, Dick Splash is actually doing probably the best he's done in any of the six races to, to uh, start, or well, five races should I say. And there's Eva Stinks going through into the black and white section there. The penultimate part of the course just waiting to see how far ahead he is there it looks like bite is on the same part but Eva Stinks has a commanding lead there so the only thing that's really going to stop him now is the spinner down the bottom here and he's actually got through that without any problems whatsoever so it is Eva Stinks leading quite comfortably at the moment looks like he's going to stop the clock in the region of say 938 yeah and there's Bider crossing the line now. Harry Dixon Balls is in third spot there. 
And his come den teammate, Zlatan Bagadik's fourth angry nugget crossing the line fifth. Now we do have two angry nuggets there. That was a mistake on my part. One of them is Mo Lester. One of them is angry nugget. So Dixie Norma, Slob Tastic, Wayne King, Regis Queefer, and Don Key have crossed over. That's your top ten. Buster Hyman, Bernie Crampons, Ronnie Pickering's come across as well. There's Woody Ryder and Robin Banks looks like they're going to be the next one up. Yep, 15th. There's Sly Crapper. Richard Stiff, Lobster Joe, Diana D-Bag and Angry and Nugget, which is Mo Lester, rounding it out. So just watching the rest of the field cross the line now. Wet farts there. So out of the points this time. But he will be happy because BJ Swallows is behind him. So I'd say he's probably gained another couple of seconds there. Probably another 15 minute lead by a uh, 15 second lead by now, I would suggest. And that's the race complete there. So we've got our top 20 on the screen. We've already gone through them. And we'll just scroll down, have a look and see where people ended up finishing and how many actually did finish the race. Something about this track, it's pretty volatile. We do have a lot of uh, non completed marbles, but uh, Dick Splash, best, best performance of the competition so far, 22nd. And there's Wet Farts in 28th spot there. So I don't think it's cost him too much with respect to the competition. There's BJ Swallows there. He's 40 seconds behind the winner. Yeah, so about two and a half seconds behind Wet Farts there. So that'll just blow the lead out a little bit further. So the 96 competitors, we're just scrolling down there, so... And there we are, so 75 competitors finished, so Gregor Tosakokov was the lucky last there. And uh, yeah, so Harry Hebkes, Lucky Phil and, and co will get his time being the last competitor. I'm thinking of shaking that up if I do another series of this, because uh, yeah, I don't know if that's necessarily fair. Anyway, let's have a look at the standings. So looking at the leaderboard, it is Wet Farts by 15 seconds over BJ Swallows, who then goes back to a minute to Mike Rochburns and Angry Nugget and Fritz Grunter. All very, very close together there. And Aspisitz rounds out the top 10 on 134 behind. In the points, BJ Swallows maintains his 23-point lead over Wet Farts. A big drop down to Milo Drinker, 145. Wayne King got some more points today up to 143. And Beaver Stinks winning the race brings him up to 6th place on 128. And in the team's competition, Hooker Cochran lead Midnight's Bears by 48 minutes, nearly 49 minutes there. And STD Contractors round out the top 3 in 105.28. Ditch a quick and hide a disappointing 5 hours and 13 minutes down there. And we'll leave it there today. So round 7 might be something a little bit different. I'm looking at doing maybe an endurance race. So something a little bit different just to change it up a bit. So we'll see you then. Bye bye.